Risk is an interesting thing to think about. It's an interesting concept. We're Joel and Missy Davis. Um, we're a missionary pilot family here in the Philippines with New Tribes Mission Aviation. Risk is only risk to us because we don't really know the outcome of what's going to happen. If I think about God, God doesn't really have risk the same way that we do. When Jesus came to the earth, he wasn't risking anything. He knew what he was coming to do, and he did it willingly as a sacrifice. But us, on the other hand, we have risk. We don't know the outcome, and so we, we live with a certain amount of risk. And as a missionary pilot family, and as a missionary in general, living overseas, there's just risk involved. That's part of uh, the territory. As I think about our job, there's risk from the time that I leave the house till when I get back. One of those things is calculating our weights for taking off and landing. If I mess up my math on how much weight I have, or if I mess up the calculations on how much fuel I take, it, it can be a risky thing. Another one would be landing at short airstrips and landing off airport. Um, those all have risks involved. We in the West are riskophobes. We assess risk, we evaluate it, we do our best to minimize it, but let's not fool ourselves. We can't get rid of risk. It's part of all of our lives. We're addicted to insurance, however, and we've got health insurance, life insurance, car insurance, renter's insurance, home insurance. I've even heard of people having alien abduction insurance and meteor and asteroid insurance. I mean, really, where does it end? I had the opportunity early on in life to see the world and to see what God was doing around the world, and He gave me a desire to be part of that. He also gave me a, a dissatisfaction for living a safe, comfortable life. And for those of you out there that have that same dissatisfaction, I would challenge you to live a risky life for Christ. You can do that in the U.S. or in your home country just by sharing Christ with people at your work, but you can also do that by coming as a missionary overseas. Yeah, this job has risk, but as I think about it, everybody has risk. Whether it's driving down the freeway in our home country, or playing sports, or going skiing, all of those things are risky things to do. The question is, are you willing to live a risky life for Christ, or are you just looking to make money and have an early retirement and a white picket fence? As I look around the Philippines and I talk to our missionaries here, I'm growing more and more aware that the greatest hindrance to seeing the Great Commission accomplished here in the Philippines is lack of workers. In Luke 10, Jesus sent out his disciples and he said, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he will send out workers into the harvest fields. And that's what we're praying for right now, that people will come and join us in that work. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, how can I help out on the mission field? There's nothing I could do. I'm not a Bible teacher, a Bible translator, but all of us have something to offer. It's like the little boy with the five loaves and the two fish it was definitely not enough to feed 5,000 people. And yet look what Jesus did with it when he took it in his hands. There are needs on the field that you might not even think of, like um, bookkeepers and construction workers and teachers and electricians. There's so much that you can do and so many needs that help take the burden off of the team um, as you work together to get the gospel to the unreached. We are just one mission in one country in the world and we have a lot of needs for people to come. So you can just imagine the needs all across the world in 2,000 plus language groups that still need the Word of God in their own language. I guess that's why it's called the Great Commission and not the safe or easy commission. But it is possible as the church responds to the mandate that Christ gave us. Because he said he will do it and he will use the church to get it done. Will you join us? We need people that are willing to live risky lives for the cause of Christ. Yeah, there are risks, but the rewards are far greater as we see people come to Christ for the first time and change from darkness to light.